Burgundy House. My name is Tristan. Today I have the number one selling whiskey in the world from the number one spirits brand in the world out of India called Allied Blenders and Distillers. And I've had my eye on this whiskey for a while. Only $10.99 from a local shop. And I figured I'll do a neck pour, which means I basically just open the bottle, pour it, nose it, taste it, talk about the finish. And I don't approach it really analytically i don't get into taking notes ahead of time nothing ahead of time at all just popping it tasting it letting you guys know what i think this is not usually the approach i take a lot of guys on youtube do this that i see and i think that's kind of funny because uh there's a saying commonly that goes your first pour is always your worst pour and this applies to really any spirit basically means the spirit hasn't had enough time to oxidize or to really open up so that you get its full potential. That's why I normally don't do neck pours. However, with this, I'm not taking it too seriously as by the description on the bottle, it's technically a grain neutral spirits and scotch whiskey with caramel coloring added. Caramel color added. So A for honesty. But yeah, it's something that I thought would just be educational to say the least, but it is the number one selling whiskey in the world. A little brief background on it. It's kind of the working man's whiskey, uh, self-described. Uh, it's one of a number in the line, the officer's choice line. They actually have, I think about 10 different whiskeys. Yeah, this was the cheapest one. They only had two and uh, this was the cheaper of the two. So I thought I'd pick it up get into it. Real quick side note, Jason will be back next week, so I'm super excited about that. We're going to be reviewing the Glendronic Portwood, so definitely check that one out. I'm just going to get straight into this. Really interesting bottle shape. I kind of like it, shouldered bottle, but you can tell it's just pretty cheap. It's got Officer's Choice written on the back, so you guys can see. Grain Neutral Spirits, Scotch Whiskey with Caramel Color Added. So basically it's unaged Indian vodka with scotch and caramel coloring. Jeez. And it's got one of those tops like a handle of vodka would have. I haven't poured anything like this since college. Plastic screw top. Cheap plastic, not Suntory. Yeah, number one selling whiskey in the world. Literally looks like piss. Sorry, no, it, it literally looks like yellow coloring. Um, it looks very artificial, but hey, they told you on the label, so again, can't hold that against them. It smells extremely new make, extremely young. There's a very septic, synthetic nose, uh, very quality to the nose. Really no body, no depth, um, very papery. It's, it's like a you open a new packet of paper before you put it in the printer. That's kind of what it smells like. That and alcohol. A little bit of glue too. Kind of curious to know what kind of scotch they use in this. The palette. Definitely grain whiskey. Okay. Slightly sweet. Really not a lot of depth. Not a lot of body. Even doing a neck pour on this is, is too much. Um, this one more time. Sweet. Light. Artificial. It's like artificially sweet. There's like a like a paint thinner quality to it. The finish tastes like just grain neutral spirit, vodka with a little sweetener added to it. Vodka and sugar is the best way to describe the finish. I could see this being tolerable in a highball, but there's really no other way I would ever choose to drink this other than for pouring the number one whiskey in the world for someone. Um, yeah, I, I actually probably will go back and get the aged one. They have a blue label. Uh, you can look at this up online and it'll talk all about it. I didn't really want to put in the effort to looking into all the details and boring you with that. Gives you the address of where the distiller is. 42.8% by volume, 85.6 proof. Number one whiskey in the world. Officer's Choice Rare. I would give this a 60. Yeah, definitely deserves a 60. It's like they took vodka and added a little sugar and a dash of blended scotch grain whiskey. I highly doubt there's any single malt in this. Working Man's Whiskey from India. 60 points. Cheers.